Hello everyone, let us discuss the another topic in cellular biochemistry that is Menkes disease. And the Menkes disease occurs due to defect in the collagen synthesis. The Menkes disease occurs due to defect in the collagen synthesis. It mainly occurs due to the defect in the cross-linking that is the last step in the collagen synthesis. Now let us discuss in detail about the Menkes disease. The Menkes disease is the connective tissue disorder. It is the X-linked recessive disorder. The main pathology is that there is defected in the Menkes protein ATP7A. And due to the defect in this Menkes protein, there is impairment of copper absorption and transport. So if there is defect in the copper absorption and transport, there is impairment in the cross-linking in collagen synthesis due to decrease in copper containing lysyl oxide. So due to this decrease in copper containing lysyl oxide, there is no any proper cross linkage. So to, in the previous uh, lecture, I already discussed to you about the cross linkage. This cross linkage is the last step in the collagen synthesis. If you don't know that step, then please read that step. So impaired cross linking in the collagen synthesis due to decrease in copper containing lysyl oxide because if there is no copper then there how could be there will be co copper containing lysyl oxide if there is impairment in absorption and transportation of copper then obviously there is a decrease in the copper in lysyl oxide which ultimately leads to the defective collagen so what will be the presentation the presentation will be brittle kinky here there will be the growth retardation and there will be the hypotonia there is also risk of increase of cellular aneurysm, cerebral aneurysm. Another important point you should know that you should differentiate between Menkes disease and Wilson disease. You should know the difference between Menkes disease and Wilson disease. In the Menkes disease, there is defect in the protein ATP7A, whereas in the Wilson disease, there is defect in the ATP7B. In the main case disease, there is the decrease amount of copper. There is decrease amount of copper in the cell. Whereas in the main case disease, there is copper overload. Again, I am going to tell you, in the main case disease, there is defect in the main case protein ATP7A. And in the Wilson disease, there is the defect in ATP7B. And in the main case disease, there is impairment of copper absorption and transport. So there is decrease in the concentration of the copper in the cell. Whereas in the Wilson disease, there is increase of copper in the cell. There is increased concentration of copper in the cell. So these are the two main differences you should know in main case disease and Wilson disease. So this much for the main case disease. Thank you.